the brief guide of Digla Reservoir. The reservoir lies just north of the village of Home, with local beauty spots and beautiful views of the surrounding countryside, and is managed by the Peak District National Park, which is very popular with tourists. At either end of the walk there are two car parks, and according to the Peak District website, the distance of the walk is 8 kilometres, and the difficulty rating 1 out of 5. The meter completion time is 2 hours and 15 minutes, and I would strongly recommend to wear sturdy walking boots and warm clothing. The remnants of Bingley Quarry. It was used in 1881 to 1894 and owned by Joseph and Frederick Marston. The rocks are upper carboniferous grit stone and today it is now a car park at Digley Reservoir. According to the West Yorkshire Geology Trust, there are three quarries Bingley, Allison, and Digley Road Turnaround, in which you can identify two on the walk. The adjacent Allison Quarry. It was used in the 1940s and the rock was used to build Digley Dam and the surrounding walls. So the rock here is sandstones and siltstones and back in the 1940s massive cranes used to come here and pick up the rocks used for the dam uh, and as you can still see, you can see the vertical nodules in the rock strata. As you walk further along the footpath you can begin to see evidence of the old trading routes used by horses and carts during the time of heavy industry. This is a major trading route, uh, many horses and carts used to go along this road uh, and there's even remnants of an old watershed where horses used to come up, stop off and have a drink of water here. In the 1800s, agricultural Britain transitioned into industrial Britain and home firth dramatically changed with numerous established textile mills. However, the water system had to change also. Factories could no longer rely on the water carts or rivers. In 1838, commissioners for Home Firth approached a Leeds-based engineer called George Leather and construction of Bilbury Dam began in early 1839 and completed in 1843. When Bilbury Reservoir was built, it held 67 million gallons of water and at the foot of the bridge, as you see down there, used to be Bilbury Mill, which was a woollen mill and used to make things like handbags, and also suits, and it was top quality for its day. Bilby Reservoir stood for 10 years before disaster struck, as illustrated in the London newspaper. <music> 1 a.m. on the 5th of February 1852, the embankments collapsed during a heavy period of rainfall. This resulted in 86 million gallons of water flowing down the river home into the surrounding valley to Home Firth and Home Bridge resulting in 81 people losing their lives. A giant oak tree once stood here, and amongst the panic and the floods, according to legend, a man climbed to the top of the tree and survived the 1852 floods. What a great sight it must have been. Flooding has been a regular occurrence in the area, in which since 1738 there has been five recorded floods. Recently, in 1944, when a flash flood followed by a severe thunderstorm hit the valley, killing three people. Stories of German prisoners of war who were housed in the area and helped in the rescue efforts of the local residents and property. A local man called Geoffrey Riley was even awarded a George Cross for his heroics and rescue efforts during the flooding. So just behind me, two mills, two Digley mills were built by Joseph Booth of Melton built in 1790 and in 1985 it was bought by Joseph Greenwood as a woolen textile mill. So with his architect called Ben Stokes, he redesigned the mills and started trading under Greenworth and Son Limited. In September 1936, the mills were bought by the Huddersfield Water Corporation. It was finally destroyed in 1936 due to the building of Digger Reservoir. Digger Reservoir holds 600 million gallons of water on the original designs and it's 797 feet across and it also costs 580,000 pounds to build. On Friday the 9th of December 1938 the tender for the construction at Digler Reservoir was accepted and placed with Mr J McCoville of Cardiff and the current dwellings and all the mills were demolished in Digler Valley. However today the skeletons of these structures can still be seen today. So this area used to be called Hoobram Hills which was a hamlet and a cluster of different houses for the workers. As you can see now it's used as a barbecue or it's totally destroyed since the building and the construction of Digley Reservoir. So here stands the remnants of an old manor house that used to be here before Digley Reservoir was built. And as you can still see there's still the stairs here and there's still other structures 
uh, just to display the past life of Digley Valley before the reservoir was built. So somewhere in these grounds is a hidden geocache. If you find it, make sure you tell me in the comments below. We'll put your name on it. We stood here when Digley Reservoir was being built. The whole area was filled with Digley wood next to the mill. And these trees are the lasting reminders of what the place used to be like before the reservoir was constructed. Most recently, in 1995, Digley Reservoir almost ran dry because of a drought and even led to Yorkshire Water being the most hated water company. Water from Ghoul had to be brought in to replenish the reservoir. Digley Reservoir, many people come here every year uh, for the dog walking, with very picturesque views, or to generally just enjoy the outdoors in the peak district. So as you can see, the beautiful view here of Digley Reservoir. The reservoir has a 4.5 out of 5 star rating on TripAdvisor and is ranked as the number one thing to do in home. However, based on Yorkshire Water research, many people express their dissatisfaction on dog mess left around, spoiling the experience, to which bins have recently been introduced to combat this issue. So come and check out the rich history and beautiful surroundings Digger Reservoir has to offer, and who knows, you may even find a geocache.